I knew nothing about amyloidosis. Uh, some of my symptoms were um, fatigue and the inability to get into um, shape, uh, cardiac shape. I, I always was in great shape and I, as I exercised, I became more tired and I, I didn't feel well. Amyloidosis is a disease that is characterized by the storage of an abnormally formed protein in organs of the patients or also in the extracellular tissue. I was initially treated at another facility um, and I was referred to New York Presbyterian Hospital. And when I met with Dr. Moore, the cardiac amyloid specialist, he told me my disease was not as rare as I thought it was, and it was fairly common, and he treats a lot of people. And that made me feel very comfortable, and he was down to earth and, and very practical in his approach to my treatment. And, and that really helped me. And then he introduced me to Dr. Lynch. Dr. Maurer, who is one of our important team members and specialized in heart amyloidosis, um, received the referral initially, made the diagnosis of the heart amyloidosis, and subsequently referred the patient to me for chemotherapy. And Dr. Lynch had the same approach. And as a team, they, they made me very comfortable and, and allowed me to get some peace of mind, which is really important during this treatment process, because this is really very, very nerve-wracking. I have a family, I have two children, you know, I had to have a good face on for them, and I didn't, and, and if they frightened me, I, you know, that would have been, made it all that much worse. But they kept me calm, and they were really helpful on, on, on not only the physical part of this, but the, but the mental part of, of dealing with a, with, a, with a disease like this. We started chemotherapy. Uh, he experienced a very good response, hematologic wise, but also experienced a huge improvement in his performance status. So, after four cycles, we discussed whether we are able to proceed with an autologous stem cell transplant, but our cardiologist gave us some guidance and wanted to be on the safe side and give two additional cycles in order to achieve a better improvement of the response and to give the heart time to recovery and gain some strength back. So the plan right now is to give him an autologous stem cell transplant after six cycles of the chemotherapy. And hopefully that will bring him in a long and sustained complete remission. Today I feel, even in spite of the treatment, I still feel 100% um, better than I did a year ago. My heart has been damaged because it's cardiac amyloid, but that's it improved and it continues to get better each day. So I'm looking forward to the day I don't have to take any treatment and really see how, how I feel. For him, for sure, we need a lifelong follow-up after the high-dose chemotherapy with a stem cell transplant. And that indeed is true for all our patients. After the treatment, we have to make sure that we detect a relapse early. And that's why all our amyloidosis patients, after achieving a complete remission, need a lifelong follow-up and monitoring, for instance, of their free light chains. Here at New York Presbyterian Hospital, they've helped me considerably and, and they've told me that the treatment works and, and, and I've been fortunate enough to be, it's, it's, you know, to be mentally strong enough to just deal with this. And it, it's really something initially that was fright, frightening, but as time goes by, it becomes normal. This becomes the normal for me and uh, it, it's definitely okay. It's, it's, it's really okay.